Yo what's up, Keshav here. So in this video, we are going to talk about iOS 14 developer as well as public beta 5. I'll cover everything we'll talk about the release date, the performance, improvements, bugs and all that good stuff. So make sure you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss out anything. And let's get started after a word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare. They offer some really great products to bypass iCloud activation lock or fix your phone which is stuck on boot loop. Plus, if you'll use my coupon code which is on your screen right now, you'll get 30% off on your first order on Tenorshare. So what are you waiting for? Hit the first link in the description to learn more. Okay, so first things first, we'll talk about the release date of iOS 14 developer as well as public beta 5. So public beta section, you can also stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to cover you as well. So as you can see, it's 12th of August, Wednesday, when I'm filming this video and you'll probably see this video going live on the same day. And iOS 14 developer beta 5 could come out anywhere on 12th of August. Yes, it might come out today, but if it won't come out today, it will come out anywhere from 15th to 19th of August. Again, I'm 99% sure on the release date, but if we'll talk about public beta 5 release date, it will come out anywhere after one or two days after developer beta 5 is released. So in simple words, iOS 14 developer beta 5 will come out on 12th. If it won't, it will come out anywhere from 15th to 19th of August and public beta 5 will come out after one or two days once iOS 14 developer beta 5 comes out. So if we talk about size of iOS 14 developer beta 5 as well as public beta 5. So I can't really specify the size here because no one really knows what Apple is working on. It could be somewhere around 300 to 600 megabytes or even more than that. But one thing I'm sure if you'll come from iOS 13 to developer or public beta 5 of iOS 14, the size for you will be around 3 to 4 gigs. So a little thing that I need to mention quickly is that iOS 14 developer beta 5 will have some improvements in Geekbench scores as well as the performance and battery life. I'll talk some major changes and I'll get to that in a second but if we talk about minor changes, performance as well as battery life and Geekbench scores would 100% increase. Because iOS 14 developer beta 4 is not that great, the battery life just sucks on iOS 14 developer beta 4 as well as public beta 4 iPhone 7 users are just reporting that their phone doesn't last as long as it would last on beta 3. So we might see an improvement in battery life, stability and performance on iOS 14 developer beta 5. That concludes that Apple most likely be prioritizing on performance and stability on the upcoming betas. So if we talk about the first major change that might come to beta 5 is that new wallpaper section. Yes, all the leakers were speculating that there might be a new wallpaper section in iOS 14 developer beta 4, but it didn't come. But in iOS 14 developer beta 5, there might be a new wallpaper section. This is not 100% confirmed yet, but there are some chances that there might be a new wallpaper section. And like I'm saying that it might come to iOS 14 developer beta 5, not developer beta 6 and 7 because like we are reaching till the end of betas of iOS 14 and iOS 14 developer beta 6, 7 and 8 will just be prioritizing more on performance and stability because it needs to be released to the public. So another feature and this is a major one and comes from a YouTube channel Apple O. I'll link his channel down in the description below. So he says that watch OS 7 has some really cool customizations regarding the control center. You can tweak the control center up to your personal preferences. So this feature, he says that this feature might also come in beta 5 where you can customize and tweak the control center. I'm not really sure that will this come in beta 5, but yeah, chances are this might come. So if we talk about bug fixes and stability, beta 5 will be more stable obviously than beta 4 and bug fixes there will be a lot of bug fixes like me personally i was facing some issues regarding the shortcuts widget it just turns transparent and many people are reporting that 
battery problem as well as problems with the keyboard like i was also facing this problem on my ipad it's on ios 13.6 right now but earlier i updated it to ios 14 developer beta 4 and whenever i try to type the keyboard just won't come up but now I downgraded to 13.6 and it's fixed so hopefully apple will fix all the bugs in beta 4 okay another thing that most likely will come to ios 14 developer beta 5 as well as public beta 5 is some new splash screens so we saw some new splash screens on ios 14 developer beta 3 if i'm not wrong and on beta 5 we'll also see some new splash screens because if public will install this update they'll come to know what's really going on what's new in app library and all that stuff so we might see some new splash screens like this one okay another thing that i want to address quickly are some new widgets that might come to beta 5 so public beta section these things will also come for you i'm not really 100 percent sure but there might be some new widgets for the mails app we don't really have a widget for mails app right now if i'm not wrong so yeah we'll see some new widgets well that marks the end of this video hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because i really need your support thanks for watching catch you guys the next time peace